But your state governor, Sheyimaki, they said uh, the state had identified the company that stored up the explosives, which caused Tuesday's, Tuesday's explosion in uh, Dejo Oyeleshe Street at Deya Avenue, Old Bodija Ibadan, and that they will be brought to justice. The governor stated this on during a press conference on the incident held at the briefing room of the governor's office secretariat at Godi Ibadan. Governor McKinley called for calm, assuring that the state government has been on top of the situation and that it is leaving no stone unturned regarding the search and rescue of victims and the rubble of the incident, as well as the welfare of victims and security of their properties. Uh, since yesterday, our security agencies, our first responders, emergency services, and all other relevant agencies have been working diligently as they carry out uh, search and rescue operations. Uh, just this morning, uh, another uh, individual was recovered uh, alive uh, from the rubble. Uh, I want to assure just uh, like uh, uh, the emergency uh, team members have uh, uh, validated, uh, search and rescue operations will continue until all lives within the vicinity of the blast are accounted for. According to the governor, some measures already taken by the state government to address the situation include the setting up of an emergency operations center to oversee search and rescue. DG National Emergency Management Mustafa Abib vowed that search and rescue efforts will continue until all lives in the vicinity of the blast are accounted for, adding that the state government had also made provisions with hostels or hotels to accommodate victims and those living close to the site of the incident once they are able to identify themselves. But the most disturbing issue is that those particular people that get that explosive have been there for a very long time. And how come people keeping that kind of magnet quantum of explosives over 10 years and nobody has seen anything? Disaster management is everybody's business. If you see something, you say something. If you see something, you say something. We are not on ground zero. We have lost more than 58, about 58 houses are damaged. We have lost about three lives have been lost. We don't know the number of people in the hospital. We are going to the hospital to ascertain. We are working hand in hand with the state government. The further update we can provide at this time is that we have information regarding the company that was using that residence to store explosives. Uh, rest assured that all that were involved directly and indirectly in bringing this tragedy upon us will be brought to book. Uh, it's uh, a wake up call, really, uh, for, for all of us. So once again, I urge all to remain calm uh, as uh, the authorities in Oyo State are on top of the situation. Governor Makinde had, during the press conference, also revealed that the President Bola Tinubu spoke to him to commiserate with families who lost life, uh, loved ones uh, to the incident, as well as promised to support the federal government or promised the support of the federal government to the situation. The governor recounted that so far there are three deaths from the incident and that the number of injured was about 77. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.